Welcome to the Quosa Information Manager video tutorial series. This short video will show you how to organize your articles with Quosa Information Manager. The Organizer pane offers several folder categories, all with specialized features, to make organizing your articles a breeze. Let's take a look at the My Searches folder category. Every time you retrieve a set of articles from a channel, Quosa Information Manager will automatically create a new folder under My Searches. The folder name is your query, and the number of articles in the search folder is indicated in the square bracket. Search folders are always listed chronologically and grouped by searches ran today, yesterday, the last couple of dates, and then prior dates. To view the folder content, simply click on the folder. Its content is shown in the results pane. A unique feature of these folders is that the query information is saved, and therefore you can update the folder content anytime, either manually by right-clicking on the folder and selecting Update, or by scheduling automatic updates via Quosa Alerts. Updating a folder will rerun your query in the original channel and add new articles that were published since the last time you ran the search to the folder. To set up a Quosa alert, right-click on the folder and select Configure Alert. Detailed instructions about Quosa alerts are available in another video and in the user manual. Once set up, Alerts are listed under the Alerts folder category. Let's take a look at the My Folders folder category. Use this folder category to organize your articles into folders and subfolders any way you like. Create as many folders and subfolders as you need by right-clicking on the parent folder and selecting New Folder. Type in the folder name, then populate the folders by Drag and dropping articles from the results pane into the folder. Drag and dropping search result sets from the organizer pane into the folder. Or use the Save button, select the folder, and click OK. You can also create subfolders at this point. A unique feature of these folders is that articles added to the folders this way are simply pointers to articles already in your Quosa archive. The article files, for example PDFs, will not be duplicated every time you add them to a new folder. Therefore, if you add the articles into 20 different folders, you will not end up wasting 20 times as much space on your hard drive. Another unique feature is the automatic detection of duplicates. An article that is already in the folder will not be added a second time. Therefore, your folders are kept clean and simple automatically. You can also take advantage of this as a tool actively when consolidating multiple folders containing overlapping sets of articles. For example, drag and drop result of overlapping search strategies or equivalent searches in different search channels into a single folder and know that duplicates are removed automatically. The inbox is a folder that can receive files from outside of Quosa. For example, web pages sent to Quosa via the Quosa Browser Toolbar plugin. Please check the user manual for full details. If you are using a Quosa Virtual Library, it will also appear in your Organizer pane. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos on our website or the Quosa YouTube channel. Detailed instructions about all topics are available in the User Manual and Web Help in the Help menu of Quosa. For sales-related questions, contact sales at quosa.com. For technical questions, contact support at quosa.com.